Hello guys, welcome to my channel today. So today I'm gonna review Super Bomberman R, which is currently like playable on Ryujin X. So I'm not too sure if you guys have played like Super Bomberman before, but this game was originally released for PlayStation back then. And it was pretty hard back then to actually like play Super Bomberman. Reason being because Super Bomberman was like one of the games that allow you to actually play with like three other friends inside the same room. So there was not many of those games back then for PlayStation, and it was it was really fun back then, right? So, and uh, we have not seen like Super Bomberman's gameplay change over the course of years, but of course, like they added like um, you know story here and there. However, like the gameplay itself is actually like pretty similar. So if you have never played like Super Bomberman before, Super Bomberman is actually like uh, Super Bomberman's objective was pretty simple, right? So what you need to do is just really to place a bomb in front of your enemy and then let the countdown timer to go to zero. And then when the countdown timer goes to zero, and then like it will explode and then your enemy will die. Right? So yeah, uh, it seems like the, the the video for this Super Bomberman doesn't work properly for Ryujin X. And since I'm using like DS4 Windows, like I didn't know like how to actually like skip the animation. However, like uh, I tried this game on latest user early, uh, early, early, early access. However, like it didn't work at all. Right, so let's see if that's if let's see if let's say this game actually works on Ryujin X, right? So yeah, seems like uh, we can we can see the text here. However, like there was no graphic at all. I assume like this is kind of the um, let me think. So this seems to be like uh, you know motion clip or like you know clip. Unfortunately, I can't. Re okay, yep, there is a button so I can skip this particular like um, cutscene. Cutscene. So let's see. So I'm in bomber, the home of the bomber. Okay, so that's I. I found a button to actually like uh, skip the cutscenes. So let's see. I can't re I can't wait to actually play this game because like I haven't played this game for a very 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 long time. Uh, ever since like I, you know, my my PS One was old, I didn't have the chance to actually like um, play Super Bomberman ever since. Seems like the game is running pretty all right on Ryujin. Planet so Technopolis, the fifth. So I'm getting about like uh, 30, 30 FPS during the cutscene. So let's see what is the real FPS when we get into the game. So the Switch emulation scene has been like uh, in the hot bat right now because like the development of Ryujin and like Yuzu, which allow you to actually play like Cannon Sword as well as like um, the latest like Animal Crossing game. It was amazing, right? So, okay, let's see. So I'll just choose my player That's here amazing. right now, and then yeah, I'll click continue. Let's see. So again, like that—that that is a map, right? So there will be some obstacles. There'll be like some walls. You just need to avoid the walls, and then like you just need to make sure that your opponents or your enemies' like movements were restricted, and then you place the bomb in front of them while you actually move away from the bomb that you have placed on and let the bomb actually explode and kill the enemy. You can use the bomb to actually like destroy the wall as well, so I'm not sure if let's say they have added new features here, but I assume like it should be pretty much similar. So different enemies, they have like different like abilities, like some of them they can hit the bomb, some of them they may actually move like really fast, so you need to make sure that you time yourself really well, and you make sure that when you place the bomb then, you didn't end up like killing yourself. As far as I as far as I can remember, like you were given like limited lives. So um, when you when you exhausted like the number of lives that you have, and then that's actually like when you will lose the game. All right, seems like it is like going pretty all right. So again, there, this is a tutorial, but like I'm pretty familiar with Super Bomberman. So right, okay, I'm getting about like. 
Wow, just 6 FPS, that is actually like quite slow, but again, um, you have to let the game to load first because like uh, the emulator is not like perfect. So for example, like this one, I'm getting like uh, 10 FPS right now. So what you need to do here is actually you need to blow the wall. So for example, like that one, right? And then you move away from the bomb and let the bomb to actually explode. Boom! So now, your objective is actually to place a bomb in front of like the enemy, right? So again, restrict the movement of the enemy, right? Oh, sorry, I placed the bomb on the wrong side. And then again, like when the bomb actually like explodes, you will actually like kill the enemy. But be careful, don't get trapped, right? So, oops. Again, I did the same mistake because like I'm not used to the console again. But seems like even though like the frame rate is actually like pretty it sucks right now. Okay, that's what you need to do, right? So you need to block the enemy's movement. So when you put the bomb in, in between the enemy and the enemy could the move, right? So when the enemy could the move, then like that bomb will actually blast them away, right? So oops, oh, okay, right. So right now you can only like um. Uh, create one bomb, but as you progress, if I'm not wrong, you'll be able to create more bombs, or more powerful bombs. Even like there were a bit some bombs that you can actually carry, and then like you, you can throw it to the enemy. So this game is actually pretty fun. Even though like okay, so my FPS is getting better, so I'm getting like about 16 something FPS right now. Uh, I guess like the game is actually doing pretty well. Okay, yep, you, you see like I got a power up, so I think like I can create more than one bomb right now. So let me try for let me try creating more than one bomb. Yep, you see? So you you have to block like you know the wall and then sometimes you get like an item and then you can use the item for an upgrade for your own bomb, right? So again like this game runs pretty perfectly on Ryujin X. I didn't know like why it didn't work for like uh, Yuzu. Some people claim that actually it worked for them. However, for me, it just crashed when I was actually loading the game, right? So again, let me just like um, play one more game. Oh, well, there is a magnet. That is actually pretty new. I've never seen the magnet before. I assume like this magnet will actually suck the bomb. So um, let's see. Let's see. Alright, so now you have to kill the enemy, so um, you see like place the bomb there and then like the bomb will explode and then like kill the enemy up. Oh, actually like once the bomb explodes, like it will change the direction of the magnet. So again, like do this, like you see, you try to restrict the enemy's movement and then let the bomb actually blast them. So that is super bomb the man, so let's see uh, what's next. Okay. Uh, well, there's a new type of enemy, so let me just like, I think you can blast two enemies at the same time. Well, if, if you do that, if you, okay, okay, yeah, exactly, the magnet will actually like, uh, kind of, uh, um, attract the bomb, so, okay, what I have to do now is I should place a bomb there, so I should blast the wall so I can kill the next enemy. Alright, so, easy peasy, so... I mean, the difficulty will actually become harder as you actually progress to the, I mean, more advanced levels. Okay, right, so let's see. Oh, smart enemy, but like, okay, yep, my bomb is able to blast the enemy. Okay, place the, place the bomb there, and then like certain bombs will have be able to penetrate the wall, so you can actually like uh, kill the enemy easily. Alright, so, wow. Yeah, I think I'll have to blast a particular wall so I can actually like proceed to kill like that brownie center. Oh, okay. Now I can create three bombs at the same time. So, okay, let me create one and then like the magnet will actually like attract the bomb and then boom, it will actually blast the enemy. So now what we need to do is actually to blast the wall and then we can proceed to the next level. Okay, so my verdict for this game is like totally playable if you use like Yuzu. So I'm getting about like 19 FPS. So I I assume like the maximum FPS of this game is about like 30 FPS. 
and like uh, you know it's not too bad for getting like 19 fps it's totally playable i mean i i can't even feel like that there is a there's a lack in terms of movement and like i will i would say like you know if you if you want to try this game right away download like the latest like region x release and then you can just like load the game and straight away like play the game right so that's pretty much for me so i'll try to review other games soon so stay tuned so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click subscribe and then please enable notifications so when i publish a new video or a new like review then you'll get notified right thank you very much guys